Good afternoon, everyone. I am Dr. Sonia Sandeep, Assistant Professor in the Department of Ferrero Diagnosis. Today, I will talk briefly about the role of radiology department in thesis as a co-supervisor. So, the things which I will cover here is, what is the role of radiology, modalities which are available in the radiology department, which modality to choose for thesis, and in the last, I will mention about few important points which you need to remember while you send your patients for investigation. So the first question which comes is, what is the role of radiology? So while you select your thesis topic, which of course will be intended to do some research work to explore more about the topic which you have chosen to add on in existing literature, this can be about some disease or it can be about some anatomy or some anatomical variant, whatsoever it is, what is the role of radiology? Radiology can help you in by either confirming or ruling out a diagnosis, that is, if your, uh, your provisional clinical diagnosis is further being supported or ruled out based on imaging finding, staging and prognostication of the disease, follow-up and treatment response. So, while you choose your modalities, you should know briefly about the modality options which are available. Broadly, we can categorize in two groups. The first one is of ionizing radiation and the other one is non-ionizing radiation group. In ionizing radiation group, the modalities are X-ray, CT scan, mammography, and excess scan. And in non-ionizing radiation group, examples are ultrasound and Doppler and MRI. So about choice of modality. There are various factors which you should take into consideration while you select your imaging modality. Few important ones are the accessibility and the feasibility of modality, patient's comfort, time duration, total time taken for the scanning, cost of the scanning, radiation exposure. This radiation exposure is particularly important in case of if your population group is of pediatric age or if it is a female group. And of course, sensitivity, specificity, positive predictive value and negative predictive value of the test and imaging modality which you will take into consideration based on your objective. The few important points which I would like to tell you about here, those are when you send your patient for imaging, one thing you should remember is coordination for date and timing of scan must be done beforehand so that you can avoid end moment hassle. Forms should be duly filled and signed. All the formalities regarding the test should be done prior before you send your patient. Consent form of patient should be duly signed by the patient. If some investigation is required as a prerequisite from radiology department side, for example, we ask for KFT reports in case of contrast CT scan or contrast MRI, it should be made available before the examination. And PG resident should accompany the patient. This line I emphasize because as we know, this whole exercise of thesis is for your learning purpose only. So it is a good practice if you accompany your patient so that you can closely follow up your patient and imaging findings. If sedation is required, particularly in a pediatric age group, prior coordination must be done with anesthesia team so that imaging sh should go in a smooth way. Regarding ethical issues, if your investigation includes ionizing radiation or contrast injection, detailed explanation of the procedure and risk benefit all should be explained to every patient by the resident, both in writing as well as in verbal form. One thing here I would like to mention is, you have to remember it is 10 days rule. What is that? 
According to Tender's rule, if any female of reproductive age group, if she needs any investigation which includes ionizing radiation, then that investigation should be preferably be planned in the first 10 days or of her menstrual cycle. Why so? It is because uh, if in any case, if the patient is unaware of her early pregnancy, which at times can be the case, this ten, if you follow this 10 days rule, this will avoid any inadvertent radiation exposure to the fetus, which can be, which, which can have a teratogenic effect on fetus. In the last, one thing which I would like to emphasize more is the radiology department is already an overburdened department and particularly for MRI. Currently, we have only one MR machine and there is a long queue of patients. So, whenever an investigation is required, it should be chosen and planned in such a way that it can be merged and managed with routine work without any extra pressure or burden on either side. So that is in short about the role of radiology. Choose your modality wisely and uh, plan your things, your imaging with, uh, with a good coordination with the radiology department before sending your patients. That is all. With this, I wish you all the very best for your thesis work and for your coming years of residency. Thank you.